Hey guys, it's time for another board game battle. Two different games that are basically going to be icebreakers to help you determine uh, what you didn't know about your friends or maybe what you didn't know about an entire group of people. We have Polemic here and Privacy, two games that are similar, but just how similar? Let's find out by queuing the intro. So just like any other board game battle, we're taking a look at two games that are very similar yet different enough to determine which one it is for you that you're going to want to pick up. I've got both games, and with that I've been able to play test them quite a bit and determine what are the best qualities each game has to offer. Now we have Privacy, this is by USAopoly, and this one, Polemic here, is actually going to be, it's by Garden Path Games, and it's coming out again with another little expansion-y thing pretty shortly, so I wanted to include it in a, in a video, and it just kind of worked out because I just got this game from you. USAopoly. Now as you can see Polemic is a small card game that has cards for each player and adult topics and regular topics that you're going to be trying to guess what people think about certain topics. And in privacy, it's kind of the same thing. You're going to have cards in which you're going to ask questions. Players are going to put down a guess and put it in this little box here. Yes or no. And then you can also guess what players think and by moving this little tracker around. This one, of course, uses a scoreboard, plays up to 10 players. This one over here plays up to, I believe, 7 players. But you could play more if you had an additional copy of the game, I suppose. And uh, you're going to be just doing the same thing. They're both basically ice breakers. And they have different aspects to them. So let's start it off first with... Quality. So in the game, there's two different qualities, of course. This is a simple card game. I've played this multiple times now, and the cards are thick, nice quality, and they've lasted through many, many gameplays. I use this as an ice baker, and I've had Polemic for quite some time now. It's the first game I've had that's just a simple deck of cards that I've brought to multiple parties to get to know what other people think. So uh, as far as that goes, you have tuck boxes, which are never the best in my opinion, but for a card game, what do you expect, right? They're gonna be tuck boxes. They're kind of worn out and faded, as you can see, over the time I've used them, but they have still held up, I suppose. So, you know, nothing too amazing as far as quality is, is concerned, but nothing is really needed as far as quality is concerned. Over here with privacy, as you can see, this is a much better produced game. It has a lot more uh, components to it. Uh, and this has got a little tuck box here, which opens up. It is nice and thick, and it has, basically it's like glued together with this box inside of this little opening thing here. It's got a little keyhole where you're gonna be able to put your votes in, which is also nice, and it feels good to touch. This is probably, a, as far as party games go, this is probably one of the better uh, quality party games I've actually seen. Uh, these are all your player tokens, and they're nice little wooden chits, and they just go around the board once you hit 21 points, you're the winner of the game. And it looks like a door hanger because, you know, you need privacy when you play. Which is funny too because it actually gives you a door hanger that says, don't, dis don't disturb us while we play privacy. Uh, there are these little trackers here which are actually pre-installed. You don't have to do this yourself like most games ask you to do. And it spins this little tracker here and it goes all the way from 1 to, of course, 10. So you can't play with more than 10 players due to, the, due to this tracker, but 10 players is probably all you're going to want them to play for this kind of game anyway. A uh, nice deck of cards as well, which also feel nice, sturdy, and strong. They also have numbers on the top of them, so you're going to determine what question you're going to be asking when you draw a card based on the top symbol. If it's a lock, it means you can ask anything while. Uh, like, have you ever Googled a blue waffle? I think, I don't know what that is, but uh, I know what a normal blue waffle is. I'm kind of afraid now. Don't, don't Google that. Don't Google that. Kid friendly. Oh gosh, uh, the, the box itself actually has some nice little, uh, it's got like that saw, uh, feeling of texture and it's like shiny to look at. So it's, it is very, very nice as far as the quality goes. But when it comes down to quality of game, this one is definitely going to take the cake. It has a lot of shiny bits going for it and all the pieces are really well done. Uh, but it's also a larger game. So let's talk about next, uh, this size, right? Size is important. So this game over here is basically going to be a travel game. It's something you can almost put in your pocket and take it anywhere you go. Whereas Privacy is a larger game with a lot more components. Are all the components necessarily needed? Uh, not necessarily, I suppose. You could use trackers and like that for these things here, but they are just nicer quality as far as production goes. You also don't need this huge tracker here. I think it's just big to be impressive, uh, including a door knocker is also another thing that's really not necessarily needed. These tokens, however, are because you need to take a, a sample size of them at random and put them all face up, face down, so nobody knows what you're choosing, right? 
um, as far as this one goes. So there's there's not a lot that you need to do with it. You can put it in your in your purse, in your bag. Uh, I, I would just put it in my pocket, and I have done so uh, as far as going to parties and stuff like that. So pretty pretty simple as far as that is concerned. And far, as far as portability, the Polemic definitely is going to win this one out. This one's a lot bulkier and harder to take around. You're going to need to bring this in a bag or something like that just to get it from place to place. Although realistically, it's 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 not as, as heavy or as big as other games I own. So really not that huge of a deal. So now a really important thing, which is going to be gameplay. Gameplay for both of these games seems on the surface to be very similar. However, they are different. Polemic is pretty simple as far as it goes. You're going to get a bunch of cards. Two of them are going to be opinion. Uh, sorry, yeah, two of them are going to be opinions, whether it's going to be like or dislike, an X or a circle. And then the rest of them are going to be from zero all the way to, I believe, six likes. And so in this case, uh, you're going to be trying to guess how many players like a specific thing. So if I go ahead and read a topic such as, oh, I don't know, spam, we're going to then find out who likes spam. Everybody's going to put down like or dislike, then everybody's going to put down a guess as to how many likes or dislikes there are, and then you're all going to flip over your uh, guess, and if you get it correctly, you're going to get points. So there's no score tracker in the game as far as that's concerned. You can kind of keep it in your head, but at the same time, it's a party game. Is it really necessary? I don't know. All the topics here are going to range from the most bland mundane to uh, more interesting ones, I guess. Like, so for instance, bland would be like flip flops. Flops. Is that interesting? Or they have a boxing. You might find out somebody you know uh, at your party actually enjoys the sport of boxing. Staying out late, taking surveys, getting up early, humanity, the Pope, arguing, socialism, bumper stickers, hosting parties, unions, or last job, TED talks, etc., etc. These are all the basic topics in the game. And of course, there are adult topics as well, like draw blood, uh, certain types of um, graphic imagery, uh, paying for a sensual massage, a Sibian clamps, uh, toys, gags, you get the idea, right? So there are going to be more adult topics in the little adult pack, which is separate in from this game. The base game is going to come with base topics and the adult is going to come with uh, the adult topics. Both are going to be able to help you introduce and understand your party better because you're going to find out what people like and dislike. Now the difference between this one and privacy is privacy is you don't know actually who's putting what in. It works the same way as you're drawing something. Uh, do you brush your teeth during a certain thing that you do sexually? Has someone uh, has, has someone else's baby ever peed on you? These things are going to be definitely more adult in nature and they're all adult. They're there are no basic simple topics so for those of you looking for a more family from the game then polemic's probably gonna be that one for you straight up you don't even need to keep looking i guess but uh these have more adult things there are certain things that aren't just sexual in nature there are things that are just more like, like have babies ever peed on you are you going commando right now i'm not gonna answer that have you ever had to eat a soggy waffle uh, could you sleep in a coffin overnight? So they're just more risque, more in, 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 unique sexual kind of type questions. But you're going to be answering the questions secretly with face down chips, putting them into this privacy thing, flipping them out after players have guessed how many people have thought it was, uh, who have said yes. And then in a big player game, you're never going to know who actually is putting in what. Uh, there are certain circumstances where everybody puts in no, everybody puts in yes, and in those cases you would know, but in that case, no one's going to be, you know, that, that mad about the game. Uh, you gain points for being exact or being one away. You move up this track here until somebody hits the win spot, and that's basic game. So this one's going to actually be a little bit more private in your answers, but also the questions are a little bit more spicy, where this is more about learning the other players and how they feel about the game, uh, and, and that is pretty much the difference between them. Not doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it actually is. All right, last thing, overview. So what game should you pick up? Privacy or Polemic? Now, they're both interesting games and they're both very similar in nature, but they are different. You're looking for a more compact game that lets you play uh, more versatile topics that are also a little bit less less risque, less adult in nature, or do you want to go with something that's a little bit more private, but also a little bit more, uh, you know, nutty right uh so that it would be the first thing i would say as far i wouldn't even focus on the quality or the components or anything like that i would actually first go with gameplay i think that's the most important part especially in this these type of games because these ones are going to open you up to uh, people knowing about what it is you feel about these topics and of course lying in this game is going to kind of defeat the purpose of the enjoyment of getting to know each other and this one here you you're not going to need to worry about that because players are going to simply put it in here and uh you're going to 
only know what everybody else chooses if you're the only yes, right, or the only no. But otherwise, it's kind of a mystery as to who thinks what during, for which topic, right? So if you like the style of being more private with more scant, scantily like laid questions, or you like the idea of being more open with some questions that are a little more intense and some that are less intense, uh, then that would be the choice for you. Uh, quality, this one is going to win straight out. As far as the artwork goes, they both practically have none. Uh, this one, I guess, would look has a little bit more visual appealing look to it because these literally don't have anything. They're just gonna be words and, uh, and then the different colors of the cards. But really, what else is needed? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, both games have a place in my library. Usually I try and pick one over the other for a board game battle. But in this instance, it's kind of interesting because it depends on who I'm playing with. Is it a new group of strangers that I want to get an adult theme off? They like games like Cards Against Humanity. Privacy is going to win them over. But if it's a smaller group of people I'm going to get to know, they want to be more intimate in nature, love about learning about their hobbies and whatnot, then I would say Polemic is a better choice because it's going to give you the ability to learn about what they think about e-cigarettes or uh, public sporting events. Uh, topics from the 70s, ballet, horror movies. Uh, so, and I'm gonna see their guesses. I'm gonna be like, oh, they like horror movies. Maybe I'd be interested. It'd also be good for uh, couples nights or dating. Uh, I guess a big speed dating group would work as well for a polemic. Um, so it's really a party game versus like a, a better, a little better of an icebreaker game. But anyway, that is a board game battle for Polemic and Privacy by USAopoly, and I gotta look at this and make sure I get it right, Garden Path Games. Uh, do go ahead and check out both of them, determine which one's best for you. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, it was a really hard decision for this one specifically. If I had to, because I gotta do it on a board game battle, I've gotta pick one. <sighs> I'd probably go with Privacy specifically for my tastes just because I like the more risque questions, there is a lot more of them, and of course the quality of components uh, definitely always gets me. I like miniatures, and I like that kind of stuff, so in that case I'd pick, uh, to, I, would, I would choose privacy. Provided I had the money. If I didn't have the money, I'd go for polemic. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got for you for this board game battle of privacy versus polemic. But let me know in the comments, please. Tell me what you think. Tell me, am I wrong? Did I make poor choice? Have you guys played either one of these games? If you want to check out the polemic, go ahead and look. Both of them will be in the description below, as well as the new polemic, which will actually be coming out on Kickstarter very shortly. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to battling with you again later with probably a better quality video than this one.